hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am going to discuss about the cisco video endpoint and the webex controller so in this lecture i am going to register one of my cisco video endpoint to webex control hub you are you can actually uh, register your cisco video endpoint on the call manager or on the control hub or on the on the expressway core as well but in this particular lecture i am going to discuss about the webex control hub how to register the cisco video endpoint on the webex controller so i'll show you how you can add the workspace how you can add the device or how you can remotely register that endpoint to webex control hub okay so let me open my end device so this is my video endpoint 10 10 20.155 this is my video endpoint which i am going to register on the control hub as of now you can see it says passphrase vulnerability first time visit not completed system name is missing anything register device so that means this device is not registered as of now right so and this is my webex control hub where i need to add the workspace first and then I need to register that particular device, right? So to add the workspace, you need to scroll this down under the management tab. You can see this workspace option. So there are two options, mainly this workspaces and the device. So under the device, you will be able to see those devices which are registered on this control up. So let me click on this devices first and I'll show you it will show nothing because nothing is registered as of now. As of now, it says add a device or it says add Webex devices to your organization. After you add the device, you can configure and you can manage it from here. But as of now, no device is registered. So that's why it says nothing. And then let me go to workspace as well. So no workspace is there also. That's why it says add your first workspace, right? So I'm going to add first workspace and then i will register that my uh, video endpoint on this control hub so i'll click on add workspace after you click on add workspace you need to give a common name here like what do you want to name the workspace like uh, this workspace uh, is in one of the location and you have a room name as well then you can just add the room name here or it's uh, you can see uh, if it's a u shape t shape like the room depends so you can give the particular name as well so as of now i'm gonna give the name as test video conference room right so i'm just gonna give the name test vc room then it says what type best describes the workspace it says desk it's a normal desk focus huddle room meeting room or is it open space or other so depends on the type you choose, it will show you like how much would be the capacity. Like if I'm gonna choose huddle room. So huddle room would be having a capacity of two to five mainly. And if I choose meeting room, it can be six to 20 something. Yeah, meeting room, dedicated meeting space capacity would be six to 20. You can add the capacity here as well. Let's say I'm gonna say 10, right? Then it says location, where is the workspace located? Then you can select the location or you can leave it as a blank or i can say default you don't need to change anything it will work as well right then let me click on next and here you can see it says add workspace and what kind of device do you want to set up in this workspace as of now here we can see cisco collaboration device it come it's coming cisco navigator cisco room cisco webex board and desk series devices that means it contains if you are going to add like a sx20 dx80 uh, webex room kit plus these devices then you can choose the cisco collaboration device and if you are gonna register cisco ip phone then you can choose this one if you don't want to add any device but you want to add the workspace then you can create this empty workspace and you can add a room board or desk series same things room board and desk series or uh, devices later on as of now we have this device this is my uh codec plus uh so i am gonna add this device to our control hub so let me choose this cisco collaboration device and then i'm gonna click next now it says calling 
under the calling it says call on webex one on one call or non pstn it should be one on one call and it's a non pstn this is the default method that's why it says this workspace can make and receive calls using sip or when paired with the webex app right if you choose cisco webex calling it says free calling features with additional pstn service provided through webex it doesn't say the pstn service provided through like a call manager or something no it's a cisco webex calling additional pstn service provided through webex if i choose this option and there would be one more option that would be hybrid call hybrid calling is not showing up here because i haven't enabled the hybrid calling on my controller i'll show you how to enable it and once we enable it you will be able to see the hybrid calling option here so there would be these two three options hybrid calling is mainly useful like when you whenever you want to make a call through your call manager like call to the outside world through your call manager then we have this scheduling none calendar or desking calendar like if you have already integrated with your office 65 calendar then you will be able to like uh, one button to push that means uh, whenever there is a meeting you can just click on your you can see the join button there you can just click on join and it will be connected that would be done through this calendar integration so as of now i'm just putting this call on webex and scheduling would be none and then i'm clicking next so now it says an activation code add workspace activation code and this is my activation code right it says activation code this is a one-time password you can share this code with the person who is setting up the device which belongs to this test vc room which i just added so most probably like, let's say this device is a this device is in the room and there is a person already there so you can give this particular code to that person he can enter it on the device and then this uh this webex or video endpoint would get registered on your webex controller so as of now let's say the devices are connected but no one in the room so what you can do you can copy this thing copy this uh, code or you can email it to your email id as well so that you can use it later on as of now like it says expires may 21st like it's there for next seven days today is 14 so seven days it would be it would be applicable after that it would get expired so as of now i just copied it and let me go to workspace so i just clicked on go to workspace this is the workspace which i created you can see no devices showing up here as it says add a room board or desk series device software upgrade nothing is showing up here because we have not added the device as of now right even the scheduling notes everything is coming up here because we are under this workspace which i just added now i wanted to register that video endpoint this one 10 10 20 dot 1 1 1 5 5 on my controller so if the person is there in the room you can give this code to that particular person and he can just enter it right and then this uh can it can register to control up and he can actually perform the first time wizard as well whatever is coming like if you want to upgrade something it will it will show if there is an upgrade or all the things first time wizard like system name or other things also so as of now let's suppose no one is in the room now what i do i will log into this uh, ip address and then that is my cisco video endpoint actually then scroll it down where it says registered device in order to place calls with this video system it needs to be registered to a call service right so i am going to register this particular to the webex controller i'll click on this register to webex i'll put the 16 digits code here and we'll click on register so if it says you are getting logged out like this one you have been logged out click here to sign back in that means your device is getting registered on the control hub and now you cannot access the device directly by just putting the ip address right so this logged out you won't be able to log in directly with the help of your previous credentials now you need to go back to your control hub 
go to devices and there you will be able to see that particular device which we just registered as of now you can see this device is coming up here cisco codec plus and this device is already logged out let me close this one now your question would be if you want to open that particular device like if you want to change any settings how you can do that click on the go to devices and then click on this device particular device as it says first time visit not completed like if somebody is there then it can complete it but now you want to access this particular device as it says issues this is the issue first time visit not completed now you want to access this device you can come here under the support you can see local device controls click on this one it will launch this will open local device control in a new tab let me click on proceed now you can see this device is getting logged in 10 10 20 dot 1 1 1 5 5 that is the same device now i don't need to enter the credentials like i don't need to enter the username or i don't need to enter the password because this is a cloud login this webex control hub is all cloud and i am accessing the device with the help of cloud right so now you can see the system name is coming up here and now it is getting logged in without any username and password because it is getting logged in with the help of cloud thing or i can say webex control hub right so this device will get logged in in, in couple of seconds right as of now you can see the same device codec plus and here you can see it says provisioning webex registered right so now this device my this device is registered on my webex control hub right second thing i wanted to show you the hybrid calling what i was discussing earlier so for the to enable the hybrid calling you need to scroll down to services and here you can see hybrid under this hybrid option you will be able to see other options as well for like calendar integration this hybrid calendar exchange office 65 google calendar and here you can see hybrid calling for webex and here you can see video integration with microsoft teams that means you can you can uh, schedule not schedule actually you can take your microsoft teams meeting on your cisco webex devices that is what video integration with teams but as of now here i'm going to discuss about this hybrid calling for webex uh, we just need to set it up and here it says once i click on setup it says review the prerequisites add a SIP destination and certificates create to establish mutual tls connection configure call manager to receive calls directly from expressway edge for each workspace you want to enable hybrid calling that is what we did like uh, we did cisco webex calling which says one-on-one -on -one call but non-pst so it says uh, once you enable this hybrid calling you need to do these things as well to enable the hybrid calling because hybrid calling would be there if you enable if you add the directory number on the call manager and you will add it on here uh, on the control hub as well on the particular devices right so i'm gonna enable it as it says click enable to turn on the service so once i enable it says hybrid calling for webex devices right so we need to enter the SIP destination settings it says default SIP destination you need to add add a default SIP destination to establish mutual tls connection to your expressway edge so i don't have those edge and core as of now so i'm i'm not gonna add anything here i just wanted to show you how you can enable it so here you can add it you can add the certificates uh, and then it says deactivating hybrid calling for webex for your organization disables unified cm based calling now let's suppose you have already enabled it but you want to disable it then you can just deactivate it from here right that's how you can enable the hybrid calling right so let's go back to our device it is showing up here and we have the device showing up here and if i go to uh issues and diagnostics and under this issues and diagnostic you can see first time visit not completed and camera not found because that is not connected first time visit we need to complete once we are in that and here we can see the user interface screenshots that means on the touch 10 what is showing up there you can see it up i just clicked on this touch panel screenshot 
So you can see it says it's on the welcome screen. Welcome, change language or start. Once we click on start, then the first time wizard will get started, right? And here you have another one on screen display OSD screenshots. If the screens are connected, then you will be able to see this one. Welcome. And it says follow the steps on your touch panel to set up the system. That is on screen display. That means the big screens with, who are, which are in the screen, which are in the room actually. And then touch panel screenshot would be a touch 10 device, like a small device lying on the table. You can start it and you can complete your first time visit. So that is mainly you need to do to register a Cisco video endpoint on your WebEx control hub. Or there are other things as well, depends on the organizations. You can uh, like go to settings and you can see all those all those things, whatever you need to add it. Like for the network, network services, let's say if you want to like uh, for the VLAN, you need to change it. So all those things you can do it up here, like here uh, in the network or network services or DNS, you have uh, IP addresses you can put up here or maybe other things as well. If you want to configure it that you can configure it with the help of this settings tab. So that is all about the uh, video endpoint, how we can register the video endpoint on the WebEx control hub. I hope you really like this video. If if you really like this video, then please hit like, share and subscribe. And please press the bell icon so that you can receive notifications of all my upcoming videos. And if you want to schedule some time with me, you can go to this link topmedio slash technical venture and you can schedule time as per your convenience. Thank you.